Hey guys, so today I am making a video that I am actually super excited about making. Um, I am going to be testing BC Heat Set Varnish. This is a final coat varnish. It is semi-matte. Um, they do not have a true matte, just semi-matte. And for those of you that have been uh, with me for a while, you probably saw when this heat set varnish first came out, um, I did do a testing video and I had some really bad results. However, I did find out that after that first initial batch, they did some tweaking and fixed some issues. Um, so I did take that video down because I did not think it was a good representation of other results. Um, so this is the current batch. People are having good results with this. So I'm really excited to try it fixed. And I guess this will be the real test of if I had bad results because it wasn't great or that that batch just was not their final good product. Um, this one actually I ordered and I ordered it from Dolls by Sandy and I was a little bit worried because I got this right after I ordered it um, right here. It was like, you know, be careful. It has different temp temps and different setting times and um, just all this info. It was intimidating. I was like, oh my God, what is this stuff going to be like? How crazy is it? Um, but it does have info for all of their different um, things. I did look over this really well before we're going to do this today to make sure that we do it right. Um, the temperature difference is actually it's 266 degrees instead of 265. And I can see that is because they did it in Celsius, which is 130. So it is... It'd be difficult to get the exact uh, 265. So that is like not a big difference at all honestly my oven it has like a little turn knob it's probably already at 266 um, but it is for nine minutes and they advise that you bake both sides um, I always bake my varnish three times so um, so that will not be an issue so, um, some things that I did not like about it before, now I'm willing to give it another try and see, but it is different. It is not traditional heat set. Um, to thin this varnish, you cannot use thinner or minerals, anything, no type of oil-based products. You can only thin it with water. Um, I do have a little bit of distilled water in here and, um... That's the way that they advise that you use it is thinned a little bit. It does say that if you're trying to get texture in small areas, you can apply it straight. Uh, so for our test today, I'm going to apply it straight for texture and apply it diluted and we'll see what it looks like. Um, one thing that I thought was really, really strange and I'm really curious, even more curious about this, um, now, so it says, although BC heat set clear coats are air cured, they will not set until firing. So, um, so this is really odd to me. I don't know what's in this or how they make it where it, it is like an air cured varnish. Um, but you have to heat it to set it. That seems very backwards to me. So I'm not sure. It does have a lot of warning stuff that this does start to uh, cure very, very quickly that you need to work really fast. Um, it does say that it can appear white when it starts to air cure and that that should go away when you bake it. So let's go ahead and just get right into this and give it a try. I haven't opened this yet at all. Oh, that is so weird. It looks like whipped, uh, like whipped butter is exactly what it looks like. Or whipped, really heavy whipped cream. And it feels like it too. So I just want to make sure that I mix my jar up very, very, very well. So 
So a kind of funny story. So after my initial test with that first batch of this product, I was not impressed at all. I didn't get all these crazy instructions. I just got the jar. And so I just applied it like normal. It was very, very chalky. It looked opaque. Um, it did not work well for me. However, um, the last week I was reweighing a baby that another artist made and I asked what kind of varnish it was because the varnish felt amazing. Like it was no cracking at all. It felt like soft touch varnish, but it looked like a heat set varnish. Um, and the, so the, my customer asked the artist that made the baby and she said it was BC heat set. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, I think I already said this is the semi matte varnish. They do not have a true matte varnish. So because I have to work very quickly with this, um, I am just going to take some and put it in here. Let me grab a brush really quickly. Um, I will try it straight as well, but I want to make sure that I mix up this thinned part first. Um, it says to use just a couple drops. I don't know a couple drops. It doesn't say like how much varnish to paint ratio a couple drops is. Um, so I'm just going to add some drops until it looks like a kind of thinned consistency. Gosh, it's still thick. It really does not, uh, it really doesn't thin out much at all. Okay, there we go. That is looking better. This might be a trial and error. If this one doesn't come out good, um, I will ret retry it doing some different methods because I will assume, since I don't know the ratios of water, it just says until you reach desired consistency. It doesn't say what consistency works the best, though. Um, if this one doesn't give great results, I will try it again. And the instructions are pretty much just totally normal. Um, you put it on a cosmetic wedge and just pounce it on. Um, I will go ahead, we'll just do the thinned portion on this cheek here. Um, I do want to do some in the creases here so that we can see um, if the creases turn white or if there's any issues with anything as far as those go. And I do just want to make sure that I'm getting that excess out of the creases here. Alright, so I feel like I have a good amount on this cheek here. Now I am going to go ahead and do some straight. And we will just use this forehead area here. That might have been too much. So that is a good texture that I like that I would normally put on my dolls. It is white. It does say not to worry about that, that it will cure completely clear. So I'm going to go ahead, throw this in the oven really quick for nine minutes, and then I'll show you guys after the first bake. All right, guys. So this ruby head is right out of the oven. It is still pretty warm. But I am super impressed with these results so far. Um, this where the texture is, it is still tacky. And there are a couple spots that did not turn clear. Um, this one feels amazing already. I'm going to let this cool all the way down. Um, I will bake it two more times. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys... Um, the final result here. All right, guys. So I am back. I finished my third bake about 20 minutes ago and have just let uh, 
Ruby here until then, and I really am very happy with these results. It is absolutely nothing like when I tried this the first time. I'm really glad that um, I gave this another shot with the this uh, final batch mix that they did. Um, I'm going to talk about the matting first. Okay, so like I said, this is a semi-matte varnish. Um, honestly, I'm glad that they're calling this a semi-matte because out of all of the new heat set products I've tried, even the ones that I've really liked, um, none of them are a true, like, ultra matte, a real matte finish. I think all of them are semi-matte, so I am really happy that they're being totally honest um, in their labeling and letting you know it's it's not going to be as matte as Genesis. Um, I will say on the thicker texture area up here, it is definitely more of a semi-matte finish. Um, you can tell I had used like some other mediums on this part. These are a lot shinier. Um, here on the head is not as shiny as those, but it does have some reflection. Um, there is uh, one tiny little bump right here that did not end up going clear. But um, the other ones right here, that went totally clear, and all of my other texture is totally clear. So it's just that one little tiny bump there. Um, the part that I thinned, I actually like a lot more um, feeling-wise and everything than the part that I used um, straight. And actually this part has pretty much the same texture as the one that I used straight, which is interesting. Um, you can feel the texture. You can see a little bit of texture. Um, so you can feel the texture, but it doesn't feel sandpaper rough. You can tell that it has some texture, but it does feel nice. Um, I'm assuming the baby that I felt it on, she probably thinned it much, much more than I did. Hers had no texture at all. It was completely smooth, like soft touch. So I'm guessing that she just thins hers a lot more. Uh, this is my first time thinning it, so I wasn't sure how much to thin it. Um, so mine does have some visible texture, but the thinned part is very matte. Like, I would not even call this uh, diluted mix a semi-matte. Like, it is, it looks very matte to me. It looks amazing. Like, it feels great. It looks good. I am not really seeing much in the way of cracking except for down here, but um, I want you to keep in mind this cracking is not from this. This cracking is from another uh, one that I tested on the bottom of here a long time ago for texture. Um, so this actual part, there is no cracking. Um, there is no cracking up here where I did the thicker um, the straight part, the straight varnish either. Um, I'm, you know, my like totally honest final thoughts are, I think that this is great. Um, I don't have really any complaints. Um, I don't love that it's white. I always get very, very nervous using a product that's white that says it's going to turn clear. I have had really bad experiences with other brands that are white and they're supposed to turn clear and then they don't turn clear um, and have had to strip a couple of babies because of it, um, which was super frustrating. Um, I personally, if I was going to use this again, I would definitely try some more times on different test parts. I would experiment with um, some different levels of dilution and find one that really worked like the best for me but I'm really really happy with these like I have no complaints at all about the finish look or feel like it is really really great um if you have not found a new heat set varnish that you like yet I would definitely recommend that you try this one um I would absolutely encourage you if you do try this one to read all the instructions they are pretty extensive and they do give you like some tips um, 
as far as like working quickly, working in very small sections, like how those sections could look when they start to air cure um, before you move on to another section. Um, you know, like a little troubleshooting extra things. It does say in here, which I didn't mention, but they do say that you will probably need to use several cosmetic wedges. Um, that if you pounce the product when it starts to um, air cure, that uh, it, you'll get white patches that will be messed up. So uh, once you basically want to pounce and go, you don't want to go back over it after it has started to air set or you will definitely have issues. Um, it does talk about getting debris if you use your sponge on the whole thing because even if you know maybe it's not air setting on the baby yet but it will be starting to cure on your sponge so you could get white uh let's see if i can get any debris on here i can't but i really don't have much on here anymore um but so if you do start getting white flecks uh it that are like little flakes from the debris you definitely need to change your sponge a few times um, especially if you are newer and you're working slower, you probably need to change your sponge more often than that. Um, and I just went ahead, I left my oven setting, which is technically 265, but like I said, my oven has a turn dial, so it might be off a little bit. Um, but I just baked it the same exact setting that I would use for Genesis or any of the other heat sets. And it cured totally, totally fine. I'm just, I have to say, um, okay, I really love Exodus. I, you know, you guys hear me talk about Exodus all the time. Um, but I love having more than one options, more than one option. Um, Exodus is great for a lot of things. Sometimes I don't love the finish because it is definitely a semi-matte. It is not matte like like Genesis was and I do have a lot of customers that really like an ultra matte baby so right now there are no options um, for an ultra matte I would definitely say this diluted to the dilution level that I did gives me a finish that I would personally call ultra matte and that is super super exciting for me um, I do have some really exciting news as far as product testing goes I don't know if you guys have heard of a brand called Alva and Go. Um, it is not currently carried by any U.S. suppliers, and the only stores that have it do not ship to the U.S. Um, I've been talking to a woman who works for Alva and Go. I am super excited to say that I have a whole bunch of Alva and Go products on their way to me. Um, from a few days ago, so I'm not sure they're coming from Spain. I'm not sure when they will be here. Um, but she's sending a ton of different colors and varnish. I have seen people get really good results with that. So I'm super, super excited to try their paint line and varnish line. And I will be making videos. Um, I'll probably do like a separate varnish video of that one. Just one of these short varnish testers. And then I'll also be doing some videos as I experiment with their colors and stuff. Um, so that is in the works. So I am always um, still looking to test and try new heat set products to make sure that you guys have a good list of alternatives and that you know what my honest and personal experience has been with them. So again, I would definitely recommend this. I would definitely, uh, just because of how complicated it is, don't just try it on a baby that you finished. It says it in the instructions. Try it on several test parts till you get the hang of it. And I would definitely recommend that. Um, you can get this at Dolls by Sandy. I will put the link in the description. And thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next one.